What is going on people of YouTube? My name is Kurt Yo and welcome back finally to my FIFA World series called Feed the Beasts. Now I don't know whether I said it before or not, but I'm going to say it now anyways. I was looking to try and revamp slash change the series a bit because I just felt like it was too complicated. Whether you to look at it, you'd have to look back to the first episode and listen to the three minute introduction. So I started to change around a bit. After looking around at YouTube, I thought there's nothing else um, out there like it at the moment. So I've gone with the idea that I build a team in a country and I have a certain amount of money. And I have to try and get more money by playing matches and winning matches. I, get, I have to get to 10 wins in each um, country. And with every win, I get 1,000 coins put into the bonus um, money bank. And also, every time one of the beast scores, I get another 1,000 coins in the money bank, and that will be put in after 10 games, or after sorry, after 10 wins. They'll be put in. Um, I have to build another squad with that amount of money that I've got now. You may be thinking, saying, "Hold on, you've got 3,000, Dick. Uh, what? How are you going to get the money from?" Well, luckily, I have 250k on my other account that I'm probably not going to use um, straight away, so. <laughs> I can transfer the money over from there, and if not, I can buy packs and get money from packs, or go on to things like MMOGA and buy it on there, because they're one of the only ones that I've seen that actually have FIFA World coins. But, I have a new team, we moved away from Australia, I nearly gave away something, don't know whether I did, but um, we moved away from Australia, and now it's time to reveal the squad. In goal, I went for Jefferson, because... Well, 1,000 coins and FIFA World, that was alright, and I just realised I could do it much easier like this. But Jefferson, good sturdy keeper whenever I've had him on any other FIFAs. And this is the team that I've got. It's not perfect, but it will do the job. I decided to get pace at the back by getting um, Naldo and whatever his name is. Oh, actually, I'll do it like this. Boom. Naldo and Manuel. I'll just call him Man. Um, I was going to try and get Fabio and Raphael, but there were no cheap Raphaels out. So I got Mariano and Fabio, and again, left mid and right mid for Brazil. You either have Lucas and Hulk on one side, and they're extremely expensive. I couldn't afford them. And on the other side, there was nothing again. I did see some left mids, but they were silver, and they were extremely expensive because they had 90 pace. But I tried to go left wing Fernandinho and right wing Danilo Dias. And in the centre, two sturdy midfielders. Two good passing, got decent long shots, and got decent defending as well, and heading. Well, that didn't really matter about heading, but Renato and the Portuguese version, I say Portuguese, the Porto version of Casemiro. And also, Amiobi is without a friend, because I've decided when we move on to every country, we will switch around one of the beasts up top. Now, that's the thing I was going to give away earlier. We have got Ate Nuhiu to join us up top. He's a Chef Wednesday player, therefore he means business, and he is also one of the best players in the game. Just look at those stats. Look at those stats. But I decided that because um, it changes things up, and it also doesn't let me get used to playing with two people. I'll be able to switch it around, and I get two new players, and the bad thing with this is that the pace is gone. I had Fukuputu to give me the pace. Now I've got to rely on sheer quality, which is something that silver players really don't have in this game. But nevertheless, thank you for listening to this bit, and we'll go straight on to game number one. Alright, so let's jump straight into game number one. This guy, I don't think he knew what he was doing. He had a poor chemistry, a poor run of results with less wins than he had draws and losses, and also he had a right back in centre back, and a centre back in right back, two left backs. I don't think this guy had a scooby what he was doing. And he held his own in fairness compared to his team, but late, late on in the game, Askinuhi broke through and then finished like the boss he is in the 87th minute, putting me 1 0 winners and getting me my first win in Brazil. On to game number two. This guy had a decently overalled squad, decent chemistry as well, but we had to beat him because of his scum badge, Sheffield United. Makes me want to puke every time I look at it. But again, the overalls he had on his team. He could have easily beaten me for power and um, just play. Also, old friend Mark Schwartz, a shout out to him. He was in goal. But, approaching the 20th minute, Casemiro broke through the defence and then this happened. I got a penalty for it. I didn't think it was a penalty. I thought it was 
we were quite fortunate to get it, but nevertheless, I took the penalty, I scored the penalty, you know, right? I don't really need to dramatise it. It was a decent penalty, but he wasn't saving that, even if he's an old friend. And then Casemiro again, he's proven to be a good player, plays the ball through to Nuhiu, Nuhiu with the finish, oh my god, making that 2 0 bring us into half time, but fortunately at half time, he disconnected, it counted as my win, and that ended off with me getting into Division 8, and also, with that, two beasts scored in that one, one beast scored in the other one, with two wins in this episode, 5,000 coins have been brought up into the kitty, we will get to at the end of our 10 win period, so thank you guys for watching, if you liked the video, leave a like, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe if you feel like I'm worthy. And I'll catch you all in the next episode of Feed the Beasts. See ya.